video two is uh, part two, family. Part two. I'm going to go back to this. Outside law enforcement area, the Fourth Amendment restrains is forced as a protection against search because they invaded privacy. Yes, family, you can sue for invasion of your privacy. All this stuff, man, is beautiful stuff right here, family. You got to get this document, uh, sheriff package, looking down in the video. I have all that stuff down in, in the video. Um, when you get, you can go on all the videos. I have it down there as well. I have the sheriff package. You want to donate for it. Um, hit me up, email, emails in the description box or whatever, family. It's, it's there. Um, okay. I just want to go break this down in Black Laws Dictionary and, and Lua, what's a search warrant? We're going to read that right here, family. We're going to read that. It says, Black Laws Dictionary search warrant, an order in writing issued by a justice or other magistrate in the name of the state directed to a sheriff, constable or other, hold on, constable or other officer authorizing him to search for a search Search for and seize any property that constitute evidence of, of the commission of a crime. Family, they coming to take your house? What crime you commit? What crime have you committed? Have you ever asked that family? What crime have you committed? When they coming to take your house? Huh? I don't know too many people committed any crimes when they come taking in, coming to take your house in lieu of a, a mortgage. Because I can show you who are operating as criminals under the RICO Act. Conspiracy, judges, banks, sheriffs, everybody. They, they turn into nothing but our public servant criminals. They're all criminals, family, coming to steal your house. So, again, sees any property that constitutes evidence of the commission of a crime. Contraband, the fruits of the fruits of crime and things otherwise criminally possessed. Or property designed or intended for use or which is or has been used as a means of committing a crime. A warrant may be issued upon an affidavit or sworn oral statement. Huh? Federal rules. Criminal. Page 41. 18 USCA 3101. Family, y'all can go look this stuff up. It's right there, family. Right here. Go look this stuff up, family. Go look this stuff up. It's all right here, fam. But I'm going to move on real quick. I'm going to move on real quick. This is part two. Once again, move on. Let me show you something. Let me show you something. Right here, family. Hold on. Let me come on down. A little something, family. Hope y'all can see that, family. Hope you can see that. You see right here, family? It says right here, warrant and committal law and legal definitions. You see that? Remember I told you, family, demand for. Hold on, family. Remember I told you right here, family, demand to see a certified copy of the warrant and committal. Okay, now we're going we're gonna to dig deep in what is a warrant or committal is, family. Warrant of committal law and legal definition. Warrant of, com warrant of committal is the authority of a judge or magistrate to enforce a judgment against a person or corporation. Are they not acting as if you're a corporation and they're trying to enforce a warrant of committal against you? Hmm. Don't that sounds like you? Don't that sounds like you? A judgment against a person. Well, what's a person? A corporation. Or corporation. That's being redundant. It's saying the same thing. Ain't that something? It said a judgment against a person. A person is a proprietorship or corporation. Same thing. Or corporation. It is used in situations when a person or corporation does not comply with a judgment. So a warning committal is issued, family, when someone does not comply to something. It says right here, with a judgment, you got child support, with a judgment, they gave a judgment, and you don't comply to pay it. Because first of all, if you got, got, uh, you got uh, child support anyway, family, you don't owe no debt. 
not to something that's uh, flesh of your flesh, bone of your bone, blood of your blood. It's your property. That's your little child. That's your babies. You don't owe no corporation money because people don't know. That's another topic and video we're going to go into too. When women go down there and file complaints against the man and they give up their rights. I.e. making the child, i.e. human trafficking, making them a ward of the state. Yes, your child becomes a slave. Yes, it's called human trafficking. You using the child as a pawn. The baby becomes a slave. Now it is enforced upon the man to extract funds. Tell me that's not human trafficking. Huh? Using the child? To usher in funds for them? Each five dollars that comes out of a man's pocket, the the corporate ration, the corporate courts get a cut of that. Yes, family, that's a fact. So, some states is a, a dollar fifty, some states is a dollar seventy-five, some states two and two fifty, some states are more. Every five dollars that comes out of out of the pocket of a man in lieu of child support. But that's another topic, family. But it's still we could talk about in, go, in regards to child support warrants. It's illegal. These warrants are illegal for something that's yours. They, they're saying you owe something and putting a warrant for, that's a, nothing but a fiction, first of all, because it lists you as the obligor. But one day I'm going to break down what is an obligor in its legal terminology. You know. Because you need to do your uh, your homework and find out what that is. Because you are listed as a fiction. Uh, again, under this warrant of committal. You need to ask for the warrant of committal, family. Start demanding for it. It says right here, the warrant of committal is usually prepared by a court clerk or the court. Now, you and I both know any orders that's being issued out of that courtroom, there must be signature and seals, family. What's a warrant of committal? It is the same thing as a warrant. It's a written order to arrest you. And one thing that's different about a warrant of committal is a warrant of committal. It's committing to hold someone. That's why it's called warrant of committal. The warrant is being issued, committing to hold you. Committing something that was ordered already and committed to hold you. So why no one's asking for a warrant of committal? Why? Where's the warrant of committal? It's called after the fact. After the fact. Where's the warrant of committal? I'd like to see that, sir. You got a warrant for my arrest. Can I see that warrant of committal? No, I'm demanding to see it. Commanding you to show me. A warrant of committal may not be enforced more than two years after the date was issued. Huh? I'm going to read that again, family. Are y'all reading this stuff? A warrant of committal may not be enforced more... More than two years after the date, it was issued without further order form from the court. What, are, what am I saying? What are you saying, free and having? What I'm saying, family, is do you know that these warrants that they're putting on you, family, has a deadline? It's like credit card, family. It's like credit. Debt. It has a war. It has a deadline on these warrants. Family, why are we allowing these to keep allowing these criminals to keep updating these warrants? Why? These are old warrants. They must be removed from the computer. It's set basically. Look, read right here, family. A warrant of committal may not be enforced more than two years after the date it was issued. Huh? Don't that sound like credit? Huh? Huh? Family facts. I'm giving y'all some serious stuff y'all didn't know nothing about. Ain't nobody teaching this but me. Ain't nobody teaching this but free inhabitant. Family, a warrant or committal? You got a warrant over your back? Family? You got a warrant on your back? It's an old warrant? They're holding over your head? And it had a limitation on it? You allowed them to lock you up? First of all, family, you should have been asking for a copy, a certified copy of the warrant or committal. Show me in lieu of the enactment date. Show me the enactment date. These are the things y'all need to be writing down, family, what I'm saying. Facts. Write this stuff down. I need a copy of the certified enactment date of this of the war or committal. I need to see it. Because when it was enacted, 
when it was handed down and prepared by the clerk of the court. Hear that? I need to see it because if it was done five years ago, family, you got a warrant on my head, family. It's not enforceable. I'm giving y'all some beautiful information, family. Y'all better take this stuff down. This is facts. Let me move on because we, we're going we're gonna to dig deep more into this, family. I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you something. Let me show you something. These warrants, family, they supposed to be, they're old, family. They supposed to be tossed out. We're going to go to Channel Island, family. We're going to go to Channel Island, which is New Jersey's territory. We're going to go to Channel Island right here, family. I'm going to show you proof that, man, East, the, yo, wars even have limitations, and people never knew this. People never knew this. Family, did you know tickets even have limitations? Did you know that? Did you know that a lot of things had limitations? Family, did you know a ticket is nothing but a debt that these public servants created? It has a limitations. Why no one's asking for its enactment date? Huh? It has a limitations. They got old tickets in the computer, family. That must be dismissed, family. Why are you not pulling up your uh, your statutory limitations? Yo, even with your statutory corporation, they must dismiss tickets. Family, I pulled my own just to show you proof. Here it is right here. Family, true free, uh, free inhabitant bring the facts. This is the truth right here. Look, look, family. I didn't write this stuff. They did. Municipal courts. Ha! Courts in New Jersey. I didn't write this stuff. They did. This is stuff. Look, New Jersey courts proposed tossing out old, open, what was I talking about, family? Warrants. There it is right there, family. There it is right there. You can't lie about this stuff, family. You can't lie about this stuff. They're doing it already. Family, look right here. Trenton, this is our State Department. Trenton, New Jersey. The highest court in New Jersey has taken steps to do away the hun with hundreds of thousands of open warrants for minor offenses such as parking tickets. Huh? As part of an overhaul of the state's municipal court system. You see that? Family, we going to jail for old tickets. Huh? Huh? And I'm going to show you the ambiguity that's even in this document that the that the chief that the chief presiding judge of the state of New Jersey. He don't want to come right out and tell you that it's a it's a it's a limitation on these tickets. But he literally is telling you that it's a limitation on all tickets. And I'm going to read it for you. I'm going to annotate that for you. I'm going to annotate that for you because if you don't understand, I'm going to make it understood here today. Look, State Supreme Court Chief Justice Stuart Ravner. Yes, he's over all judges here in New Jersey Territory, Channel Island. On Thursday, assigned three Supreme Superior Court judges to hold hearing on proposal to, dis to dismiss at least 787,764 open warrants for offenses for more than 15 years old. Family, 15 years old warrants? Are you kidding me? Huh? That were never prosecuted. Watch this, family. Watch this. And I know if I had this, I know y'all, y'all state territories got it too. Y'all just not looking this stuff up. Y'all got it. You got it, family. You got it. It's there. If I can annotate this and pull out this stuff, y'all could do it too. I'm doing it. I went and pulled y'all, y'all, y'all judges anti-bribery statement for the every for certain states. I went and did it for you. I'm showing you could do the same thing because I'm getting a lot of emails. People hit me up asking me uh, uh, questions in regards to these warrants and things of that nature. I'm showing you now if I could pull my own territory up, you could do it, too. It's right here. It's right here. Look, those old outstanding complaints and open warrants and minor matters raise questions of fairness. Fairness. Family, under the Fair Debt Collections Practice Act, family, don't you know that there's a limitations on tickets? Look, I'm going to read it again. 
Tell me if he's not annotating this. Look, matters raise questions of fairness. The appropriate use of limited public resources by the law enforcement and the courts. The ability of the state to prosecute, prosecute cases successively in light of how long matters have been pending and the availability of witnesses and, and administrators of, of efficiency. Rabner wrote in his orders. This man is actually annotating about the limitations yo he's talking about the limitations on the tickets we got these warrants sitting in these computers man don't you know that it's against the law to do this but family they're doing it because you know why most of the people is ignorant we're not even asking for the limitations that's on these tickets no one's doing it and guess what? Law enforcement, these so-called law enforcement, these police who don't know nothing about law because they're being taught policy. Policy is not law. Policy is not law. They don't know nothing about when you're properly challenging a warrant in regards in lieu of a warrant and how old the ratification of when commenced on these, these tickets and these warrants. How old are they? When was it wrote? Yes, you can't tell me, family, we don't have old warrants sitting in computers for years. Hiding, running, ducking, and dodging. Here it is right here, family. NewJersey.com reports that the order covers open warrants issues before 2013 for failure to appear in lower level cases, including 355,619 parking ticket cases. Woo! 348, 631 moving violation in some cases related to... Town ordinance violation. Do you hear this, family? Town ordinances? That's another topic we're going to talk about that's not meant for men. Ordinances are, are not meant for men and women. Ordinances is meant for officers and agents of the corporation. Yes, it's meant for you because you're operating in a corporate capacity. You're operating as an agent. You're operating as an official and as an officer. That's why these ordinances applies to you. Because you're operating as a fiction within the so-called state. Now, the open warrant, the open warrant and the underlying unpaid ticket would be dismissed. The order indicates that more serious charges such as speeding and drug and drive will not be included. Yeah, those won't be included. But however, those are be easy to be beat as well. If you have not harmed anyone, I don't care how much they claim you are drunk. They don't know whether if you're drunk, they only assuming, hey, if you be staggering, hey, that's enough probable cause right there. You on your own. Free and habit and got to state that once again. If you are staggering, you on your own. Don't call me. Don't email me because I can't help you. That's enough probable cause right there, brother, to say you're drunk. <laughs> You've been staggering. That's enough right there. But if you have not been staggering. And they're only assuming you done something wrong, but they have no proof. And they say, here, take this brother Liza test. Refuse that test. You have the right to do so. You have the right to do so. You don't have it, it, the fifth. That's what the Fifth Amendment is for. The Fifth and Sixth Amendment. You have a right to be, you have a right to not be a witness against yourself. Why should you take a brother Liza test to convict yourself against yourself? You have a right to not do that. Why would you do that? Plead the fifth. Say no. You stupid. I'm not giving you any ammunition for me to take that. To make me find myself guilty. No. I plead the fifth. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. Not unless you got a warrant. That's why you just got to know how to challenge that family. So all the ones who has these DUIs. Come see Free Inhabitant. And we will. We will take care of that. And rectify the matter. So again. Uh, throwing, throwing out old level legal, uh, 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 old, uh, law, uh, low level cases was among, among 49 recommendations following the Supreme Court Committee's review of the municipal court system. The committee cited a growing public, uh, perception that municipal courts operate with a goal to fill the town's coffers. Now tell me that it's not trying to make some funds. Huh? It says it right here. Municipal courts operate with the goal to fill the town's coffers. Coffers? It's about money, family. Yes. Yes. You're being incorporated just so that they could uh, say you committed some type of crime when you never did. 
You're just a corporation. When you're a corporation, you're under rules and regulations. Your movement is being is being ceased. It's being your move your mode of movement is being being held down. You being regulated. They're telling you what to do. Why? Because you're operating in that corporate capacity. Get out of that status. Get out of that status, family, and you'll be fine. Which the panel called contrary to the purposes of the courts. Now, municipal courts, however, have argued that this uh, dismissal of old fines will re reward people for simple waiting out. Hear that? Fines will reward people for simply waiting out the clock. That clock has been wo waited out, family. <laughs> The old warrants here in Channel Island, they got to remove these old warrants, family. We're just not doing nothing, and it's just not here. It's everywhere. It's worldwide. They got to move these, remove these warrants. There's a statute of limitations. You're just not looking at statute of limitations annotated in your state it up. You're not looking it up. It's in your state. You refuse to look it up. Municipal Court Prosecutor. Okay. Okay. I read that. Okay. We're going to go here, right here. All right. It says right here. No, arguing that dismissal of cases would send the send the wrong message and arguing for at least some small monetary fund. That's right, because they hold warrants over your head and you had a right to sue them. Saying you, you gonna pay me, you gonna pay me because you had a warrant for my head and there's a limitations under the law and I got a right to sue you now. Now I need to, now I need to be monetarily uh funded. Yes. So it says the overriding se sentiment was the Justice Rabner order would undermine the fundamental of justice. No, he held up his order. And that De Palma, the group's president and a municipal prosecutor in municipal Essex County, told the Phil Philadelphia Inquirer. Philly, Philly territory, all the ones, you all have that there too. You have it there too. You better pull these files out. Y'all got a limitation on these warrants. Don't let them tell you. Don't let them tell you, family. Let me move on. Let me move on. Let me move on. Let me move on, family. I don't even want to go too far. I've been too far deep uh, into this this video, but I'm, I'm gonna just move on real quick so I can end this video. So I could, you know, just show y'all something. But I told you that I would go deep into these videos in regards to warrants. You can get them removed. You need to challenge them. You need in regard to your house. You need to start asking for affidavits uh, uh, in, lieu of, uh, uh, in lieu of these orders. Start checking the signatures. Start checking seals. Family, y'all need to start doing all that type of stuff, family. But no one's doing this stuff. No, no, no one's doing it, family. So let me let me show you something. Let me sh let me show you something, fam. Let me show you something, right here. I ain't gonna go too far into this, fam. I ain't gonna go too far in it. But I just wanted to show you something, right here. You know some certain facts in lieu of uh, these warrants, family. Right here. Illegal search and seizure. It says, I hope y'all can see that, family. It said right here, uh, illegal search and seizure. Whenever a law enforcement is engaged in, in a search and seizure, there are a number. There are a number of rules and exceptions that apply. These rules are de derived directly from the United States Constitution, specifically the Fourth Amendment, uh, as well as court opinions. See, those court opinions is what I don't like trusting. I like just trusting the Constitution in regards to your protected or uh, acknowledged right. Because the co Constitution don't grant or give you any rights. It's just there to acknowledge them. You hear that? They don't give you any right. They just there. All, all, all governments was formed and created for the protection of the people. It only acknowledged each individual rights and to protect them. So, again, because of the broad range of the rules that can comply to search and seizures, a number of questions can often arise. Below are some of the most commonly asked questions regarding rights. Your rights when police search you. you your home or your car. See, this is the reason why I brought up these topics, family. You know, we need to go over and, 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 and probably address right here. It says right here, at what points are police considered search searching during investigation? You're in general court will ask the following two questions to determine whether police investigation um, 
turned into a search. And the person is the person who, who's Hello, uh, is is the person is the, Okay, is the person whose home or property were being investigate, investigated, search expected a degree of privacy? Uh, two, is that expectation of privacy reason reason issue usually based on so, so, social uh, 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 societal attitudes? Okay, for an investigation to turn into a search, a court must include that the investigation impends or intruded upon a person's legitimate expectation of privacy. This is found when the answer to the, to the above two questions are yes. If either questions can be answered in the negative, meaning that the person being searched either did not have something to keep private or if the expectation of privacy was not reason reasonable, then there was no search for purposes of the Fourth Amendment. Is my private property really, really that private? Private property that is within your house or on your property is generally considered to be private. If the police have to enter into your property in order to get a look at evidence that they wish to use in court, they generally need a search warrant. Right here, family. They generally need a search warrant. To do so. However, there are certain situations like stopping sus suspects, sir, suspects from destroying evidence. Like, say, like if someone run into a house and, and he's being chased with drugs on him and he's dropping them and the cops just picking it up and some of them chasing them. They do have a right to uh, uh, run into that house. They do. They do have that right to run up in that house. They do. And this is that that uh and this is that certain situation that they're talking about. This is that certain situation that they're talking about. They they can run up in your house if you're being if you're being uh uh, uh um absconded into into someone else's house. You're being chased in someone else's house. They can go up in there. They have that right to do so. Yes. And first of all, I wouldn't want nobody running up in my house. I don't know. With drugs on them, so so they do have that right to come up in there and search and search for that particular person without a warrant. They can do that. It says it right here, and, and police can search and seize your property and your home without a warrant. This is because situations itself demands prompt action by the police. So again, certain situations they can. However, most of all, for the mit mitigating uh, general factor, they have to have a search warrant. Don't let them tell you, tell you that they don't. What did I tell you? A warrant is, it's just a written order. So again, family, when they come in to take your house, they have to have a warrant, which is called a written order. You hear me, family? So I'm just going over this little stuff right here real quick. I ain't going to read all of it because, again, the video... Part two, it's getting long. You know, I don't want to kill it out too long. But again, so the police told me they have a search warrant, but it is. And what did they need to do to get it? Now, the police told me they have a search warrant. What 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 is it? What is it? And what did they need to do to get it? A search warrant is an order issued by a judge or magistrate that gives permission and authorizes the police or other law enforcement agencies to conduct a search of a location or person and to seize any evidence of a, of a criminal offense. Your house? What's a crime? Child support. Yes. He's given orders to give to, 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 to put a warrant for you. They can't search your house, but they want your person. But again, challenge that warrant. Challenge the warrant. They're saying right here, they're putting a location or person and to seize any evidence of a criminal offense. Family. Child support. Who have you caused harm to? Who have you done any damage to? Criminal. That's criminal? I think not. No one has been harmed. No one has been harmed. So the search warrant is addressed to the person to be searched and 
or to the person who owns the premises to be searched and inform, informs the addressee that the judge issued a warrant. What's a warrant or order? Has found in reasonable, reasonably likely that certain evidence may be found there. Huh? Certain evidence is found? What prerequisite evidence is that? First of all, y'all don't even have the original note. So how did you even get this thus far? How did you get thus far to even be here to steal my house? You don't even have the original original note. Why wasn't even present before the court? Why wasn't even shown? Why didn't I get inspection of it even in the court? I need a physical inspection. I need to see the original wet ink. Family, we're not even asking for, asking for none of this. I'm not even going to read everything. But these are the things that we need to be asking on. What powers do, do police get when they have a search warrant? A search warrant gives the police the legal authority to enter a premise without per permission of the owner to search for the evidence listed in the warrant in the places authorized by the warrant. For example, if the search warrant allows the police to search the bathroom of the home of the home for illegal drugs, then the police should confine their search to the bathroom. See, each warrant family is specific in nature. Each warrant is specific family in nature. They can't just come up in there without having a proper authorized warrant because it gives specific things that they can seize i.e. steal specific writs are rolled out what they come in to take no one's asking for this this warrant so they can read specifically what they coming for see if see if go do your due diligence see if there's there's a seal on it see if there's a see if there's there's a signature man i've been looking at these these orders these writs man Everything, man, they don't have seals. They don't even have signatures. They're typing this stuff on these things, these documents. This is fraud. This is total fraud. It's illegal. A search warrant requires for every for every search. As you may may have a guess for reading reading above, the answer to this question is no. Are search warrants required for every search? As you may have guessed for reading above, the answer to this question is no. Not every warrantless search is an illegal search and seizure. Here are some of the main examples in which police or other law enforcement agents do not need a search warrant uh, to conduct a search. First of all, y'all fools when y'all get stopped, and, you know, in regards to traffic. Y'all fools to get consent. Here it is right here. If that war, if that cop don't got no 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 uh, warrant, why are y'all letting these people search y'all car? Why? Why? Why are you letting them search your car? I don't care how dirty you are. Why are you allowing them to search your car? Why are you allowing them to search your car when you're not dirty? Why? Here it is right here, consent. When you give your consent, you just waive that right, fam. It said the police show up at your door and ask you if they can come inside to search for drugs and you consent to the search. Then the police do not need a warrant. Why are you doing this, fam? An emergency, they can do it. If the police police's search is in an emergency situation, then they may need not need it there because the suspect is putting the residents at risk. That's true. That's true. I just talked about that. You got jokers running and busting up in the people's houses trying to hide. You know what I'm saying? I might hide it. I might hide you. I might hide you if you got about 50 grand on you, though. <laughs> I might hide you. <laughs> nah, let me stop it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that was a funny one. Yeah. Search searches incident to uh, uh searches, incident to arrest. Incident to arrest. After a person has been arrested by the police, the law enforcement officer may conduct a search of the person and his immediate surroundings for weapons that may be dangerous to the officer or others. And that's another reason why how they can how they can search you too, family. You got weed, i.e. marijuana, i.e. cannabis, cactus. You got you got backyard boogie sitting in in your in your ashtray or on your seat or on your dashboard of course it's called plain view or plain view sight of course they can search you you fool shouldn't keep the marijuana in plain view sight 
Why would you? Of course you know they're going to search. You gave them probable cause to do so. Do so. They don't need no warrant to do that. Stop doing it and it won't happen. It's a plain view. Police do not need a search warrant to seize evidence that is in plain view of a place where the police are legally authorized to be. Facts. They don't. They pull you over your car. You got marijuana bud, bud sitting in your ashtray family. You will. You will get. They will tell you open that door. Stop having this stuff in plain view sight. Stop having weapons to where they can see it. Stop doing it. Stop doing it, family. Stop doing it. And most of all, don't get consent, family, if you don't got these things in plain sight like this. But uh, I, I ain't even going to go on with this video no longer. So I, I, I think I pretty much summed it up in regards to, um, hold on, I got one other document I need to go over real quick. You know, uh, I need to go on. But this right here, during the traffic stop, can the police search my car and frisk, and frisk me? No. No. I'm going to tell you no. But if you suspicious of something, fleeing from a from from a drug dealer area, yes, they can. You fleeing for something, of course they're gonna pull you over. You 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 suspicious. Now they're gonna tell you get out, and they're gonna tell you this. They they can search you. Yes, you fleeing from some type of drug suspected suspected area. Yes, they can pull you over and say, sir, can you step out for a few? And they will do a pat frisk with you, which is a um, which is a uh uh. A temporary arrest. Yes, they can. They can. If you fleeing, if you're scounding from somewhere, yes, they can. Yes, they can. My car was towed and impounded. This is most of all. This is most of all I need to read real quick because people keep emailing me. I'm pulling up all this stuff. My car was towed and impounded. Can the police search it? In short, yes. If the police have towed and impounded your car, they have the authority to search your, your vehicle. Now hold on now. This is the, I, I'm I'm going to I'm going to disagree to agree. No, they can't. Just because you told my car, you have no authority to search. Not unless you got a warrant. Not unless you got a warrant. There's a there's a certain there's certain things to this right here. No, just because you told my car, I never gave you any consent to search. No, so I'm not going to agree to all of this right here. But there's certain things, reason why there's certain aspects to this that they can. Unpound it, you know, and can search it. There's certain things, you know, uh, emphasis that that is put on that, which allows them that they will be able to uh, search your car because they did the same thing to me, but I beat it. But 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 I beat it. You, a, a reason why I beat it is because they didn't have a warrant. They went in it and they drove it. And then took it down and impounded. You can't, first of all, you can't jump in someone else's car without a warrant, without the commission of a warrant, jump in it, jump in an evidence that you want it, you wanna, you wanna search, and then drive it to the police station. That's a no-no. That is a no-no, so I beat it. That is a no-no. That is a total no-no. So so I disagree with this totally to a certain extent. This search can be as comprehensive as a police wish and will most likely include openly any locked compartments or box found within your car. It does not matter what your car was towed to and pound for. It could be it could be for something as simple as a parking violation or as serious as a auto theft. Regardless, the police can search your car if it has been impounded. That is not true. Now, that right there, I'm not going to agree with. They cannot search your car just because you've been pulled over and stopped and told to get out because they impounded. Because remember, they can impound your car just because they feel that they don't like you. I've had that done. I had it done. I had it done. I would show proof if the, if the case wasn't so old. I beat it in court. So freaking old. I would have to go back to the way early, early 90s to even pull the case up. But they told my car in front of my house, my own private property, they told it just because the cop didn't like my car. Just because he hated me. He, he didn't like it. He said that it was a pretty car and I'm riding around in a, in a nice car. Just because he, he, he didn't make enough money to afford it. He want to impound my car on private property. And I took pictures of it getting impounded. And I beat it. So that was part. You telling me you can impound my car just because you want to? 
No, you cannot. So uh, once again, family, I disagree. And I beat that case as well. So, oh, oh, outdated care. I would show that proof too. But it's it's too daggone old to even go searching for. And, 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 and demanding that they get that to me down at the police station. Because it, it's crazy. But I surely beat it. I, I surely beat it. The judge was like, when I gave him the picture, he was like, sir, officer. You telling me you told this guy's car in front of his his house? I'm seeing right now this it's it's in the parking lot. You told this car for 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 nothing park. Yo, he he admitted he came around and said yes yes your honor I did. For no apparent reason, sir. You told this car y yes for no reason. He told my car so. He was like, oh my god. I'm dismissing this case and people can't park their cars now these days in their own parking lot without being told. So you can't go with that. Don't go with that one. Don't you go with that one. No, they can't tow your car just for nothing. You got to have a warrant. Give me a reason, specific, justifiable reason why you're towing it that you can search it as well in the process. You cannot do it. I can have someone else's car. I can have someone else's car. Just because of a ticket? You going to search my car? No, they cannot. Don't believe that. I can show you case law with that too, family. I can show you case law that backs that up. No, they can't. So whoever wrote that right there, it's an error. Mate, my car was towed and impounded. Can the police search it? No, you cannot. You cannot. I can't go with all of it. It just depends. Yeah, they can search it, but it just depends in regards to the specific matter of the case. You know, it just depends. Get professional help with your illegal search and seizure questions. Uh, well, it's about to end now. That that right there is end. But I'm going to go to this one. This last one right here, family. Right here. Have you been arrested by a warrant? I'm going to go over this real quick. The warrant, The warrants are usually 99.9 .9 defective. Defective. Right here. And that's true. They are. all. A lot of these warrants... I'll prove it. Now, I don't even need to put 99.9. I need to put 100% now, especially in lieu of mortgages. And, 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 and arresting you. 100% that these warrants ain't even valid. That's a fact, and I can prove it to you. They're not. They're never valid. You got to have affidavit against these warrants. You got to. They never have affidavits that we went over earlier in the first video. You have to have them. And they never have them, family. Okay. Two. And it lacks a proper Fourth Amendment warrant. Verify complaint in the case re record. They never have it. It's never verified. The warrant is never verified. When I say verify, I mean sworn statement. It's never verified. Three. They pub the public servant officers, they have a duty and an obligation to investigate before they arrest anyone. Do they? Yes, they do. But they never do. Again, the public servant, when they come in for your house, they have a duty and obligation to investigate before they come trying to throw a warrant on your property to take you out. Do they investigate and find out the prerequisite things and put in place before they take the house? Do they find out? Do they have all the proper things that they supposed to have? No, they just come and listen to what a, a judge say. Because they're getting paid. They, the sheriff department getting paid to steal your home. They don't care what the judge say. They just go on by what he wrote. Steal your home. Because the warrant, the order says so. And they come in to uh, write a writ to take you, put rid of possession of your house. They don't, they don't go investigate nothing. But they have a duty and obligation to do it. But they're not doing it. Why? I blame most of that, that, that stuff on us. It's called lack of knowledge. We don't, we don't force them to do their duty and obligations as a public servant. They're supposed to be protecting you. That's a fact. We need to go look this up. Sheriff's supposed to be protecting you. Don't believe me? Go look up Sheriff Max. I'm, go look up. You can Google it. You can YouTube. Go Google up Sheriff Mac. Go look up into his stuff and he'll tell you himself. When he was a, uh, declarated sheriff, he'll tell you, our job is to protect the citizens, our job is to protect you. Go ask him. Here's he explain that all of it. Hell, excuse you. You 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 can write him if you like, and he'll tell you. He'll tell you that. Yes, every sheriff's supposed to be protecting you. Don't let them tell you they're not supposed to. 
Four, they can be held personally liable. Yes, they can. That's why I'm telling you, family, pull that oath and bond. You already got my video. You seen my video? Pull that oath and bond. Five, all citation, all citation is only a police report. A, all citations is it basically it's a police report. It does not rise to the level of evidence for the court to consider as needed for a warrant or subject matter jurisdiction of the court. Tickets, it's nothing but a citation. It's a police report. That's all it is. Yeah, I know it's. Uh, yeah, I know this. Yeah, I do know that it's. It's. A, it's also a, a um, a, a, it's a, a a civil suit against you. But that's your fiction. That's your name. But in lieu of placing a warrant on you, see, because we're we're talking about particular. We're talking about warrants still. You feel me, family? We're talking about warrants. It do not rise to the level of of evidence for the court to consider as needed for a warrant. A warrant. Meaning, if you don't come to the court, what do they do? Because of these tickets. They put a warrant on you. Now, six. Can the courts proceed to arraignment or warrant without a verified complaint evidence in the record? No. But they do it anyway. Because why? You allow them to and you let them to. Why? Because you're ignorant and don't know the law. Seven. Now, now would they admit they were wrong and now face likely damages by civil suit unless they absolutely needed said document to meet due process requirement? Eight, one can sue them for false arrest, $10,000 each and $3,000 each for false imprisonment. Yes, you can. $103,000, says the USC, United States Code, and not to forget. Proprietorial uh, 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 damages, proprietorial um, proprietorial misconduct runs fifty grand for a total of one hundred fifty three thousand. Please donate for the document information. I have that document on judicial notice to the tribunal of the proper elements of a Fourth Amendment warrant. Proper elements is look warrant causation. That's probable cause. Three. Affidavit. They got to have that verified affidavit. That's that oath of affirmation. That's a verified complaint. They got to have it. They got to have it. If they don't have that family, they lack jurisdiction. They don't have it, family. So again, family, I'm going to end this video. If you like part one and two, give me a thumbs up on this video. Give me a thumbs up on this video. For those who have not subscribed to listen to Free, free, uh, uh, free Inhabitant, uh, subscribe. You like this video one and two? Give me a thumbs up. I'm gonna keep banging back. Love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Cause we keeping it justice. I'm gonna end this out again. You love this video? Give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed? Subscribe to it. I got more coming. You need to stay tuned in and stay listening. Peace.